Hey guys, it's going to be a seminar on how to make more money with your Medicam. Watch this. Check this out. Right, I hope I got your attention. Sometimes uh, to make a point you gotta make, you gotta get yourself uh, or your hands dirty. So there's uh, one reason why this seminar might not work for you. But just keep your mind open. Seminars usually they don't work, but training do work. As I can see, right? I didn't get this skills attending seminars but by training yeah and uh, I have not been doing this for about let's say fairly 20 years so I'm still in a not so good shape but for you but for you a little incremental steps every day little bits of pieces every day incremental incremental success 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 and you can do better However, the seminar might not work for you, but just a good starting point is just attending it. Thank you. Subscribe to the channel, check the link below. Yes? I asked the kids, what would happen if somebody dropped sugar in my coffee? They said, well, you'd be okay. I said, what if somebody dropped strychnine in my coffee? They said, well, you'd be dead. I said, correct. Lesson one, life is both sugar and strychnine. You got to be careful. I said, what if my worst enemy drops in the sugar? They said, will you be okay? I said, what if my best friend, even by accident, drops in the strychnine? They said, well, you'd be dead. I said, correct. Lesson two, watch your coffee. And by the time you're here in Central Park waiting for the red lights, I would just ask you this question. Who's watching your coffee? Just watch your coffee. So be careful who gives you advice. Sometimes our beloved people and very close family members and even our best friends sometimes can put poison in our coffee and these are usually the naysayers sometimes they do it for no reason sometimes they do it just because they are confused sometimes they they love too much they love us too much or they love you too much and sometimes they give you best advice which is supposed to be very good but in fact is not so good so my suggestion here is be careful who give you advice your enemy or your best friend sometimes can give you the worst advices. It doesn't matter who will put poison in your coffee. And uh, we're right here at, again, Bethesda Terrace. I'm here to give you this message. So just be careful to give you the best advice. And sometimes the best advice always come from within. So here is the time for you to be critical and here is the time for you to ask the questions is that a good investment in myself attending a seminar is it something that will i will benefit is it something that i will learn and uh, i want to say here because most of the people will be the naysayers eh, that's not good for me eh, it's too much time to waste ah it's too expensive ah that's bullshit ah i don't know this guy and all this all these excuses in your mind but uh I want to mention this, you and only you are your best advisor. So ask yourself the question, what a seminar can do for you? What can you really get out of it? What is it about? Even if you get only one or two or a few good ideas, I guarantee you that uh, 
there will be at least 20 good ideas that will improve your performance but uh, the question is is it worth only if you get one or two ideas is it worth the money is it worth your time so that's it Hey, this is Ivan, another cool location in the park. You see that rock behind me? Hey, there is the rock behind me. I would say do not be that rock, you know, do not be that stiff, do not be that hard when a new information is presented to you. And I'm just about to present you a, a new information. It is about the seminar that we're going to take place somewhere in the beginning of April. And I will hand you a crafted invitation for those people for those people that I will not give them the invitation personally uh, I'm gonna make a little bit of reading for them to understand hello guys how's it going how are you say hello to the camera hello hello yes fantastic so uh, here is a, it's gonna take less than two minutes to tell you this this thing what is it about but first of all suggestion number one do not be that rock in the background when you when you are presented with the new information just you don't have to act upon it you don't have to do anything just keep your mind slightly open so so you can absorb the information the best way uh, as uh, as Bruce Lee say be water my uh, friend so here it is part of the part of the invitation it say uh, have you been struggling with your pedicab money yeah have you been two would you like to know how to get to the next level right so far so good it looks very salesy right so yes <laughs> it is salesy it looks like a scam right but uh, let me tell you something Tell this to your customers yeah anything sounds salesy nowadays there's too much information too much information out there a lot of people will tell you a lot of things but remember from a, a few videos before just watch your coffee just be wise enough who gives you the uh, information i would suggest to you take a close look at the person how they talk how they behave are they nice are, are they polite are they cool are they uh friendly yeah and do they talk common sense so here it is number three now we we start with the with the serious stuff uh this sheet of paper it's too windy here but uh now here is the good part if you are making 100 150 or 250 now wouldn't be interested to find out how to double or triple your income some people will say the naysayers i know what the naysayers will say uh that's impossible that they cannot do that yeah, that's good for them let them believe in this uh one sentence here what you bargaining for is what you get if you bargain for that you cannot do that definitely you won't be able to do that but uh number four do you believe if that proper system tools or skills are presented to you you can increase your productivity sales results and income and i'm not just talking about pedicab that's like a very general and number five do you aware that working smarter always beats working harder i don't know you decide what you want to do you want to work hard or you want to work smart i would suggest both yeah and uh six six whether you are right now financially wouldn't be a good idea to discover few secrets and idea that will generate money and more money faster and more efficiently efficiently not just pedicabbing okay that's what the seminar will be about it will be about sales and that's it if you are interested say hello to the camera good morning hello you are not so friendly beautiful but not so friendly okay so i'm closing the video so don't be that rock if you are that rock you might get lost in the park and for your convenience if you get lost in the park <laughs> and if your customers get lo lost in the park there is a little secret here you see the number some people some people may find this uh interesting to know about this number each of these poles has a corresponding number which uh, apparently represents the street so if you get lost now you're on uh <laughs> 62nd street fantastic 
So don't be that rock and check the link below. The link below is about your opinion. Your opinion is very well welcome. There's a, a few questions. If you open the link, you will see a few questions. And they will help me greatly. And for the future, 100% they will help you greatly as well. Uh, you might as well subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video. If you have seen, <laughs> if you are at the end of this video, you did a good work. Thank you. Hello guys, this video is for uh, pedicab drivers and this is, uh, as you can see, Robert Burns, a poet, uh, in a literally walk, literally walk. Some people say there's no money in literature, yeah, maybe. Some money say, uh, some people say uh, no money in literature, I do not know. But for some people, for some people there is no money in the pedicab business. And for some particular guy, Van Gogh, Van Gogh, you know, you know this guy? Does he has any statue here of uh, Van Gogh? Hey, do you know if there is a statue of Van Van Gogh? Van Gogh? Van Gogh. Van Gogh. What about? Van Gogh. He has he has a statue here in the park. Oh, I don't know if he does. I you don't know. know. You're from yeah. New York? Yeah, yeah. You're from New York. You don't know Van Gogh? I know Van Gogh. I don't know. I mean, there's, there's hey, Shakespeare. Did you sell his and picture? This guy, Van Gogh. He sold his pictures. I think so. I'm just on the phone. Okay, thank you, man. Yeah, Van Gogh. Van Gogh ended up broke. Now his pictures are sold for millions of dollars. And some people say there's no uh, money in uh, poetry. Yeah. Some people say there's no money in pedicab business. Some people say there's no money in uh, art. But Van Gogh, yeah. <laughs> so, my suggestion is... Uh, if you're a pedicab driver, yeah? If you're a pedicab driver, don't search for money in the middle of the park. We are right here in the literally walk, in the middle of the park, right? So, huh, the joke is gonna be East side old money, West side new money, the land here. You can finish the joke. If you're a pedicab driver, you might finish the joke. However, I'm in the middle and guess what I found? Guess what I found? 52 cents good American money 52 cents left so you might as well <laughs> you might as well change your joke but why I'm talking about money first of all there is a this guy there is a Van Gogh that we know he ended up broke poorly he had to sell one picture uh, he had to beg somebody to buy his picture not to die starving he probably was thinking that he is a super genius, uh, but his marketing skills back in the time wasn't so good. So now, why well, I'm talking about this? Because, voila, this is the invitation for the seminar. And guess what? This seminar will be paid. Ain't gonna be free. But uh, I would say something. Just keep your mind open. <laughs> That would be probably the best investment you can do for your future. And we're not going to talk about only the pedicab. We're going to talk about other tools, tips and tricks about money. So keep your mind open. And uh, also below this video, there is a link. This link, it will bring you to a place to voice your opinion. You have to voice your opinion and that would greatly help me and you and the whole pedicab community to strengthen our abilities to make more money and actually to strengthen the whole community. There are very good people in this community. There are very good people in this community. There are uh, people that want to make these things work. I want to make these things works first for myself then for you then for all of us and if you think this makes sense yeah think about your money in the park old money no money 52 cents in the middle and the seminar 
would not be free. Uh, so, that's it. You might as well subscribe to the channel as well. Hey, this particular video will be about the topic of the seminar how to make more money with your pedicab and here it is down there it's uh, I know if you can see that these are uh, already 40 crafted invitations and I may and I may or I may not hand you one of these and uh, I'm gonna talk about a little bit just in two minutes length what this seminar will be about first I'm gonna tell you where this will happen this will happen around uh, the beginning of April probably mid April the place will be a probably in a conference room in a hotel in Midtown Manhattan I'm already I already negotiated uh, one room which is on uh, 54 Street and Broadway in a uh, Marriott courtyard it's called uh, Belvedere <laughs> conference room so this will be this will be the invitation and I may come to you and I may hand you one of these but when you look at this piece when you look at this piece of information just keep in mind this rule usually usually when people are presented with new information they are just skeptics <laughs> they may say this might not work or this might not work for me uh, this may be expensive or the information will be nothing new or I already know this uh, I don't need that and if you are one of these people that is fine <laughs> that is fine because that is the usually the natural state of people you know when new information is presented they are critical and they should be their critical thinking should be working but I would suggest to you to just keep your mind open and just take a look at this thing and carefully read it and uh, at one of the point would say what this seminar will be about so in the next video I will discuss exactly I'm gonna read some of these things for those people that would not receive this invitation because I cannot go around all around the city and giving these things like the same thing with the petition I went I got a hundred and uh, 60 signature and over in, uh, in in a few days and that was it about so I'm working on the petition as well uh, don't think that I stop on the petition it's just gonna be a different approach for the uh, for the <laughs> not for the competition for the petition it's gonna be a different approach easier easier because I know people uh, people like easy stuff so that's it there is a link below there is a link below about this seminar as well click on the link and voice your opinion your opinion is very very important for this thing thank you and might as well subscribe to the channel are you still not convinced about this seminar if you're a pedicab driver what do you think <laughs> i'm a pedicab driver i'm organizer of an event about how to make more money with your pedicab and now don't take my words okay now let's hear people that i've already trained i come from business uh, by the way i made a lot of companies myself you know uh, i have a lot of successes not ashamed to mention as well a lot of failures i have 26 years in business uh, multiple companies i've created multiple multiple companies i had a lot of people working for me so let's hear some of these people that used to work for me in the past what they gonna say about me as my skill uh, and as my knowledge about the business in general don't take my words once again just listen to what these people have to say and uh, I think it's a good idea for the <laughs> for the seminar to learn a little bit more it's never enough you know it's never enough learning it's never enough the more you know the less you know that's my sentence uh, but uh, let's hear what these people are about to say Hey, no that's makeup it. or nothing. No makeup, no nothing. That's I'm the scripted. juggernaut. The juggernaut. I didn't even shave. <laughs> <laughs> Give yes, the testimony. Yes, the, the juggernaut, the, the original legend out here. You know, y'all know who I am. The clients, the the former co-workers. Come on, man. You know how to make a cameo. I'm here with Ivan, former Bosky. <laughs> if you don't know about this guy, 
You just living under a rock, man. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> living What's under a rock. What's going on? What is this a tell show? Tell me about. Tell me about your new project. Taste. Talk about the new project. Salesman on what? Well, I sell devices and medical equipment to doctors. Yeah. Doctors. Yeah, that's that's yeah. a good pitch. Yeah, it's a really good person. Really is, it, is it helping them? Yeah, very much. Does it helping them, helping the patients. Does it resolve a problem? It does. It solves the problem? It truly does. That is good, that is good. But so, I can't give too much details because some of it is proprietary information, so... That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about the sales training in, in our company? In the oh, early yeah. days? What, what, what are the best? Every every Monday sales meeting. Come on, man. If you're not <laughs> expanding, what are you, you're, just, you're contracting, man. you got to expand. <laughs> You know? These are my words, yeah? Yeah. Come on, I, I have a it's good just, student. Just good like student. The juggernaut yeah. is a good student. Hey, listen. Everybody is their own business. That is correct. That's what I'm telling everybody. Every sales day. is life. You're either, you're either selling or like Grant Cardone says, you're being sold. You're being sold. S you're sales either selling... You're selling, uh, like, like for your kids, for example, you're selling them to um, do their homework, uh, make up their bed, clean their room. You're yes. selling your friends on where to go tonight, have fun. Have fun. Either selling either, this life, bro. Either if you don't they, know how to sell, I don't know, man. You're they're, done. They're, yeah, the economy is gonna, gonna, gonna tell you why you need to sell. The economy well, the will what? teach you. It doesn't matter if you're a teacher, a cop, or whatever. You don't know how to influence and persuade, you're gonna be average. Yes. And uh, if you're a cop, if you cannot sell the ticket to the vendor, you suck. Exactly. You can't sell a ticket to the vendor. <laughs> and if the vendor you know, can... Or even, or even a, 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 um, a crisis. In a crisis, right? Yes. Let's say a hostage negotiation and stuff like that. You, you, can't, you can't persuade the guy to like cool down, you know, put the weapon down or anything like that. Or even get him to talk to you. He people will, are going to die. People are going to die. You, you might die your, yourself. <laughs> exactly. Bad negotiation skills, bad selling skills uh, yeah, may result in death. Exactly, man. Come on, Jagannath, tell me some news, man. Haven't seen you for a long time. Well, you know, it's just been busy working, man. You busy know? working, busy working. Working, working, working. Work, work is, is good. Working. Work is good. Work builds character. Yes. Work creates, creates freedom. It creates good habits. Good habits. Definitely. Good habits, freedom, you know, the life you actually want. Instead of sitting on the couch, letting life happen to you, go out and make, you know, create the life for yourself. I like that. Exactly. How about the sales meeting in every Monday? Well, oh, man, yeah, it was great, man. I mean, you know, some people, yeah, they... Some people don't get it. Yeah, they don't get it. They, they didn't get the point of it. Because, you know... Uh, by meet. the way, by the way... Uh, this is James, James, officially James. Also known as the, the Juggernaut. Juggernaut. <laughs> and he was very active participant in my meetings in the sales training. So participant equals success, uh, something like that. Yeah, that look so where I am now. If you, if you are not participant in life and in sales and in negotiations and all these things, you know, we're going to say just economically, just economically, you will suffer. Yeah. Maybe spiritually, maybe spiritually, you can be up the... Universe. Exactly, man. But, uh, um, a wise man, um, I forgot who said, said that. Wise, wise man, man once said. said, there are three kinds of people in life. There are those who don't know what happened. There are those that make things happen. And then there are, I forgot what's the saying. But that, that's, that's enough. Yeah, you're that's either a spectator or you're a player. Where, where, where would you rather you, be? Yes, yes. Are you the uh, type of person that do not know what happened or... Rather, I, I took it a little bit in like uh, in, in hands. How yeah. things works. It's good to know how things works. If you know how things works, yeah, it's exactly, uh, one man. step to everything. To, you go far. You to go far. progress. Yeah. Okay. Progress is always good. Nice to see you, man. Oh, pleasure. Fantastic. Oh, Bosky, man. Yo, this is the guy right here. Hey, subscribe to this guy's channel. Leave a like. All that stuff, man. I'm yes. about to <laughs> subscribe right now. Just now. <laughs> okay, man. man. See you. Hey, Directly bye. from the center of the universe, Times Square. And the juggernaut. We'll be out here, man. I'm gonna send you a video now. Yes. Actually, I'm just making a cameo. Come, come Monday, I'm back on the grind. You ain't gonna yes. see me for like three years. Every, <laughs> every Monday, 5 p.m. Lombardi time. Oh, Lombardi time. Oh, Lombardi yeah. time. Lombardi time now. Lombardi time was 4.30. <laughs> okay. That's right, that's right. You show up early, you know, early bird gets tomorrow. Yes. Exactly. That's it. And so, subscribe. Tell them to subscribe, these guys. Subscribe. Whoever subscribe they are. or I will come find you and make you subscribe. Yes. <laughs> I will sell it to you. <laughs> I'll sell the subscription. Thank you, thank you. And you will and, buy. And subscribe. <laughs>
this is Ivan and if you are still watching this video there is a link below below this thing somewhere or somewhere you know on the screen uh, for those people that have a phone I'm gonna make the thing for the screen on the screen there will be a link for a survey and your opinion is valuable but uh, let's touch on this idea I'm a pedicab driver you are a pedicab driver we do have the same problem and guess what anybody who has a pedicab has the same problem I know some of the problems I'm trying to solve some of the problems this first problem is the money <laughs> so now uh, if you are not convinced yet just let's hear what some other people attending seminars will tell you and uh, don't take my words these are people that are in different industry like in the next segment we're gonna hear billionaire people billionaire millionaires and billionaire peoples that <laughs> guess what they are attending the seminars let's hear their opinion a lot of people, 9,000, I have never seen Four days. anything like this in my life. I've been at a lot of conferences. I spoke at a conference that was 5,000 people, all flat. You got a stadium going. That stadium really adds to the energy, yeah, the experience yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. It's like a basketball game or something. It's crazy. Extra Firestone! Uh, I mean, you know, you know stuff that I, I don't know anything about. You know, I know it's there, but, but I don't... And I, and I know my And you don't have to, which uh -huh. is the beauty of it. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you come out, you create good content, you motivate people, you inspire them. Yeah, yeah. My best e-commerce business right now is a, a business called Boom by Cindy Joseph. It's a $20 million a year cosmetics and skincare brand. Now, first, so it's what, like, what's, where is this? Put yourself see, in See, by the way, this is, why, this is why I got this. He's here because I wanted... This is a way for me to get the data. This is a way for me to connect. That's why I do this conference. So I can literally... Not disapproved of. And also, I will say... There is value in saying, hey, person, this thing is what you need. And I believe yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, so I'm going to yeah, tell you that. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not going to sugarcoat yeah, it. Yeah. And I think that. So I sell, you know, I have courses and mm. coaching and masterminds and things like that. Those offers, I will be more aggressive in how I pitch yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. And maybe it's aggressive, not, maybe it's aggressive your, is not the right dude, word. Dude, but look, look, it is your responsibility. I agree. 100%. Because, because what you can do to help my business is worth a thousand times what I'm going to pay for. So, so. You need to make everybody here. Who, who bought Ezra's offer? Who's got my okay. money? All what of you should have got it, okay? I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, you should have got it because he, he gives you something you don't know. Otherwise, you would already be doing it. You'd be sitting here saying, I already have it. So, shame on him for not, like, <laughs> punching you in the face. <laughs> um, what would you tell somebody else about coming here? Here's what I'd say. I mean, it's actually kind of funny, like, like um, you know, if you think of, like, what is education, like, you're basically downloading data and algorithms into your brain. And it's, it's, it's actually amazingly bad in conventional education, because, like, it shouldn't be, like, this huge chore. Like, the more you can gamify the, uh, the process of learning, the better. Like, yeah. you know, um, and I think if you can explain the why of things, then that makes a huge difference to people's motivation. Yeah. Then they understand... They understand purpose. Yeah. Um, so I think that's pretty important. Uh, and just make, make it entertaining. Hey, this is Ivan. And if you think you are smart, and if you think you are a pedicab driver, and if you think that you are still not convinced about the seminar, I want to bring some of my friends here <laughs> and these are pretty cool people let's hear what they're gonna say about attending seminars uh, and let's let's start with this with they, they actually are doing this right from a seminar about your potential about growing how many times you can grow three times ten times five times fifty times your potential and these are very very cool people now these are guys from totally different industry they are in the industry of men dating women kind of coaches you know these are the founders so these guys have 
hundreds of thousands of subscribers they have millions of followers in all the social media so so I think their opinion is valuable <laughs> but especially one of them the youngest guy his name is Julian listen to what he will say if you think you are smart if you think you have figured this out already he has a pretty good question so I don't want to I don't want this question to come from my mouth. Just listen to what uh, Tyler, Junior, uh, Julian and uh, Madison, these are the three guys and in the next segment they have a pretty good question for you. What's up? It's Owen, Julian and Madison uh, kicking it here at the Grant Cardone 10X Growth Conference. And what we're going to be doing right now is talking about the importance of ongoing self-education. And the reason why was because I was shocked that when in our Instagram stories, we're showing that we're here as students. Or when I meet people outside and they're seeing here, us here as students, they were surprised that as teachers, we would ever be students. So the purpose of this video is to talk about ongoing self-education, not thinking that you already fucking get it and continuing to expand your mind it's crazy you know we're posting these stories we're like you know hey grant cardone 10x motherfucker 10x your dick 10x everything <laughs> all the messages are you're there are, are you you're not speaking you're there to watch and i'm like of course we're there to watch you know ongoing education it's so easy to fall into that trap as you said that we I get it get it yeah i already get it and you close yourself off to new knowledge and new ways to expand it's crazy to see people just getting closed off and closed off being very stubborn too in terms of investing in themselves um one uh, message i actually got was some guy was like you know what now that i see you going to these events i regret not selling my playstation 4 to attend Transformation Mastery Live. And I'm like, why are you keeping a PlayStation 4? You know, what's the return on that? Nothing. Attend an event. Invest in yourself. You know? Yeah, better uh, yet, why the fuck do you not have the cash to attend a cheap event and, and, and need a, to sell your PlayStation 4? You gotta be ahead of the problem, not scrambling at the last minute. The bigger issue to me even is that people are fucking idiots. They think they're gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. They're gonna, they're gonna be the isolated island and make it on their own. Michael Jordan has like 10, 12 coaches, but you don't have any coaches. You must be better than Michael Jordan, man. Right, you're better than all those guys out ongoing coaching, because you're the shit. And people prioritize pumping their fucking ego yeah. and feeling like they get it over actually producing results and getting it. Yeah, it's like realize how fucking stupid you are. And, and it sounds harsh, you're like, I'm not stupid, but no, if you realize this, you will grow massively. Like, you are Everybody's stupid. You're stupid. You're a human. You're stupid by definition. Especially you. No, I'm kidding. I'm dumber than anyone. And that's why I'm here. You know, we think that we're going to figure it out all on your own. If you didn't at this point in your life, what makes you think you will in the future? If you were smart enough to figure it out on your own, you'd have figured it out. So stop being so stubborn. Realize, oh my god, I am too dumb to figure it out on my own. This little brain is too stupid to get me to that next level. Let's look for help. Let's seek help. And uh, also, yeah, the importance of being willing to give, you know, say, invest in yourself, whether it's give energy, money, to receive is so key. You know, we're taught to conserve money, conserve resources, thinking that that is how you grow. But no, guess what? Those are resources. They're meant to be used. You know, all I'm thinking when I'm making money is more to spend, more to spend in order to receive, make more, spend more, and that is how you fucking grow. Yeah, yeah that's the idea of like value units, right? If you don't even want to put value you units into yourself, your education, your health, your knowledge, your environment. How do you expect to get it back? It's virtually impossible. One of the things I, I didn't even know I was going to come to this, but I was like, let me come and let me bring all my assistants. I flew in Dan from Shanghai. Motherfucking Shanghai. I'm like, what are you doing? Get here. And he came. To the James from Toronto. Because I want to have guys around me that are also investing into me. I invest into them and they invest into me. And we keep that investment cycle going. If you have clients, you have customers, you want them to invest into you, well, what are you investing into them? It's a, it's a habit, it's a cycle of education and learning, not just for yourself, but learning how to serve others. And I didn't really even know how to serve my clients or portray my ideas to clients until I learned that. I had to be taught and I thought I was so smart, but as Julian Owner saying, sometimes we're so dumb, right? Never assume you're so smart. And also, when you take the initiative 
right? To move forward and learn something and, and, and pursue education. You're also putting a big signal out to the universe saying, I'm willing to now have success. I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to move forward because I'm humbling myself. I'm humbling myself to say I don't know it all. I'm humbling myself to say I want to learn. So universe, whatever you have for me, dollar, value units, connections, friends, relationships, lessons of even failure, bring it my way. Give me the money. If you look at the average of the five people you hang out with the most, you know, you might have some cool friends, some people are like successful and you're moving up, but aim bigger. You know, and that's like one of the huge messages. Um Are you still not convinced about this seminar? If you are a pedicab driver, what do you think? <laughs> I'm a pedicab driver, I'm organizer of an event about how to make more money with your pedicab. And now, don't take my words, okay? Now, let's hear people that I've already trained. I come from business. Uh, by the way, I made a lot of companies myself, you know. Uh, I have a lot of successes. Not ashamed to mention as well a lot of failures. I have 26 years in business, uh, multiple companies. I've created multiple, multiple companies. I had a lot of people working for me. So let's hear some of these people that used to work for me in the past. What they're going to say about me as my skill uh, and as my knowledge about the business in general. Don't take my words once again. Just listen to what these people have to say. And uh, I think it's a good idea for the, <laughs> for the seminar to learn a little bit more. It's never enough. You know, it's never enough. Learning, it's never enough. The more you know, the less you know. That's my sentence. Uh, but uh, let's hear what these people are about to say. YouTube together. <laughs> say something in Turkish. Merhaba, arkadaşlar. I said hello. That's everybody knows Marhaba. Even I know Marhaba. What would you like to say? I don't know. We're going to talk about the seminar. Okay. Do you think uh, Do you think people should attend seminars? Well, depending on what kind of seminars they are. If it's in your specific area of your interest, you can certainly uh, attend. If it's something that you think can be useful for you, for your work, for your future, you must absolutely attend. But you, you should be careful now. There are a lot of seminars, a lot of things uh, that are not necessarily useful so they're just like scrambling of time of money sometimes yes so it's just good to be careful be careful when you attend the seminar good yes. idea now i have other questions here these are questions related for the seminar all right did you ever attend that seminar yes i attended many seminars yes. ah you attended many seminars yes what was the topic for well, you know, some of them were about conflict, conflict resolution. Uh, this was this was like uh, you know a couple of years ago when I was then an uh, MA student at Columbia University. Uh, so it was more about mediation, about conflict resolution. About Did you learn anything from the seminars? Well, uh, yes, uh, because I knew who was who was you know conducting the seminar, who was preparing, and who was there. Some there were some experts on the field, so. And they had some real experiences as well, so it was good that I attend, and I learned a lot there as well. Yeah. Okay, so it's kind of a good idea to attend the seminar if it's related to your field, field yes. and profession. Yes, exactly. You have to say this in Turkish. <laughs> Turkish, well, Turkish. Well, in Turkish... Uh, How this will sound in Turkish? Because I have a lot of Turkish people that are interested in this thing. Okay. Or, or there are maybe no believers. I don't know, some Turkish guys will say, yeah. How is it to fuck this in Turkish? Well, I think I will try to explain, like, more give a broad idea of about the seminar, about the things here, about how, you know, the guys would probably respond. Burda genelde olan Türkiye'den arkadaşlar konulara nasıl bakar bilemiyorum. Onlar daha çok yani kendi işlerine odaklanmış durumda. Bazen bu seminerler de çok e, yani işimize yarayacak seminerleri vesaire bulmak bazen zaman alabiliyor. 
bazen de gereksiz para ve şey kaybı olabiliyor. Sadece burada dikkatli olmak lazım. Yani neyi, nerede, ne zaman seçeceğimizi, işimize yarayıp yaramayacağını bilmemiz lazım. Ona göre ama burada New York'ta çok güzel alternatifler var, çok güzel seçenekler var. Yani bir sürü fırsatlar var bu bantta. Yani doğru seçim yaparsak, işimize yarayacak bir şey bulabilirsek, gelecek açısından faydalı olabilir. What did you say in Turkish? <laughs> well, uh, the same thing. Yeah, I said it's, it's more on a similar line than the things that we talked about about the seminars. It was not an exact translation, but I just talked about the general, about the seminar thing, about you know, how they approach usually here and how they should approach and how they look. Uh, they should look if there's something here. New York is a land of opportunities. There are too many seminars here, like too many uh, things going on here, and which makes it sometimes difficult to get the right thing for to yourself. Sort out. Exactly. Sort out. Exactly. Just to let you know that this seminar is uh, particularly how to make money with a pedicab. Oh. Yeah, that's that's all it is about. Let me tell you, uh, I will say this in, uh, I will translate this one in Turkish as well for some friends who do not know uh, English one. So the first thing, you know, uh, I know Ivan, he's a great guy. He's he's a big brain, he's a genius. And, <laughs> and, 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 and more, more importantly, he has, he has a real, you know, business experience, life experience in the United States. I would say he was one of the like the most competent person now who can tell you about the life in the in the in Europe and can 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 navigate you to to how to sort out you know this this business and how to make money. And with the pedicab thing, uh, I'm sure you know he he knows a lot about it. His his experience and his, his suggestion, his advice would be would be extremely productive, I have no doubt about that. How do you know? <laughs> you lying to them. <laughs> How do you know? Do well, you know I, by experience? I know, yes, I know by experience and I know it's uh, uh, through my, my interaction with Ivan for like the last couple of years. Uh, and this thing. That's the thing. Do you believe, do you believe training works? Well, training, training is in today's, you know, countless uh, modernity is absolutely a necessity. Like, and... Uh, uh, in Turkish. You have to be in Turkish, man. Okay. You have to tell them these guys, yes, it, it, it speaks better in their own language. I actually translated this in Russian, okay. in some videos, yeah. You mean, you want me to talk specifically about the training? Yeah, training, seminars, whatever it is, value in yourself kind of thing, you know. Many people are very, they neglecting the, the learning curve. They neglecting, they, they just start with some business and they, they get by the flow. Whatever it is, the business, and they kind of depend on the luck. Maybe I'm going to stop the customers. Maybe I'm going to... Maybe, maybe it's maybe, and when the customers say no, they say you know fuck the customer, and these are bad customers. But we know from from experience, it's not like this. Like here in, in this in the photo business, it's exactly the same. Practically in any industry, industry I believe is the same. Even in in real estate, in all all the jobs, especially people that work for themselves, you know. No, it's, it's absolutely it's absolutely necessary that you get this practical training from an expert from i mean i mean so the, the the person who's already doing that work i remember when i first came to the photographer like a couple of years ago when i first met ivan i just got training for like one day actually it was two days but it was like for a couple of hours uh, but that was that was enough for me to learn to learn the basics and then of course you know you have to integrate that with your own personal leanings as well in other words you have to it has to the the kind of work has to fit and the training has to fit if you in your personality as well and the, in the third day I made like around uh, I believe like I earned around like two hundred dollar that was like for the first time it was like a good money and it was the first time it was just like and I was not even properly working I didn't have a box I was just uh, working next to a guy, so I made $200. What is your biggest number, by the way, that you made? 
like I made some people uh, will be like I made like 560s one time I believe yeah in I mean in the, in the photography business the same thing yeah the same thing yeah, pretty much yeah uh, yeah that's the thing it's, it's important that you know you you listen to the pe people who are expert and who can give you the real information the information that you will need and the skills because in today's world you don't it's not only the information it's the skills as well you have to have the skills or learn or hone your skills to make it better hone your skills that is like too complex <laughs> say it in turkish yet again skill okay uh, like this well, you know, to the problems that I think I, I have forgotten some Turkish as well, you know. Şöyle şöyle bir toparlarsam, bazı buraya gelen yeni arkadaşlar için bu tür eğitimler çok gerekli. Hem hem yani New York'un nasıl işlerin döndüğüne dair ve özellikle o spesifik alanda yapılacak. E, e, iş babında bir eğitimin e, eğitim şart diye düşünüyorum. E, bu işi hem daha kolaylaştırıyor hem de e, belki ulaşılması gereken hedeflere daha kısa vadede ulaşmamıza yardımcı oluyor. Böyle bir tarafı var e, bu tür eğitimlerin. Ve şu anda Amerika'da da sadece Amerika'da değil belki dünyanın birçok yerinde de bu tür eğitimler artık zorunlu kalınmış durumda. Ee, tabii ama doğru eğitimi bulmak şart, ee, yani doğru mesleğe yönelik şart, doğru eğitime bak, e, bakıp yani doğru kişilerden doğru eğitimi ve doğru yetenekleri öğrenmek, onlar üzerinde çalışmak gerekir. Bir başarılı bir sonuç sağlamak açısından. Evet. Yes. <gülüyor> yeah. Any, any, you have any other question? I have no any other questions. Now it's a good time for you to say about yourself. Where are you, student? What are you doing? By the way, by the way, just to mention this extremely intelligent guy, and uh, don't take my word. He will he will say a few things about himself. There's no flattery. We don't. There's no flattery, but I have to say this. You know, we have to say this because some people, some people, you know, some people, some people don't get it. You know, some people don't get it. I, certain about this say about yourself where well, what you I, do what you I'm, study i'm a i'm a phd student at columbia university i i study civil war i study political violence and i study conflict resolution and i'm also a certified uh, mediator uh, in new york city so i have worked with with the un with uh, new york city courts to resolve some of the disputes but now i focus more on my theoretical studies uh, and uh, well, that, that's this basically. It's it's. Uh, yes, I think it's enough. Yeah. <laughs> good. Is there business today for you? No, it's good. We are just having a conversation. Yes, I just have to ask for the business all the time. Yeah. yeah. This is sometimes <laughs> more valuable than business. Yes. Conversations sometimes open up bigger doors than you know small small. Uh, that 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 the monies or that gains that you make in the small uh, time sometimes it's better like this conversation might be worthy and might help you make more money or i don't know invest for your future and small gains i want to plug something here as one of my buddies say sometimes a conversation with a friend or a song or a good movie or anything can bring big ideas Do not neglect to to not listen to what the other people would say. Yeah, yeah sometimes this happens. It can inspire you, that it can inspire you. Like uh, Ivan, Ivan, I know, like I have heard even from, you know, people who, who had known him like far before I had met him. So Ivan, for instance, created a very successful business like in early to 2000s, right? Starting yes. in early 2000s. You know, that, that was genius. It was a, like something extremely small, but extremely simple, but extremely brilliant. This is how things work. Even Chobani, Chobani, the Kurdish businessman, he started with a simple yogurt. You know, a yogurt that we don't 
then we don't, you know, in our like a uh, if, if somebody tell me that yogurt will be selling in America, the I would be like, yeah, like yeah. This yogurt? just think about it. Exactly. If somebody tells you that yogurt will sell in America, because by the way, there is a product in Bulgaria that I was thinking to import. Yeah. It's called Boza. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a liquid, like something. It's very, very healthy. If you're a woman, if you drink Boza, your teeth are growing that is the <laughs> that's the propaganda about this product and i thought like who will ever drink this in in america it's not familiar but it tastes very good and and again let's go back to the to the chobani store to the chobani story yeah this is you know i think that this chobani story reminds us that even with your with you know with your idea you know you should go after it's sometimes chobani has a wonderful saying he says you know you will never see the end of a road if you do not, you know, if take you the road. Start. Yeah, if you if don't you start. don't make the first step. <laughs> exactly. It will, it will stay there. Like he says when he first even, you know, got that uh, company, he didn't even know what to do. He bought the whole, this of yogurt course. company, he didn't know what to do. He just started painting the walls. So... It's good, you know, start always taking a step is important. By the way, I've opened multiple businesses and that's exactly the story. So don't think there is some people are geniuses or whatever. Anybody that opens a business or work for themselves, they in the beginning, they don't know jack shit. And later on, the important thing is to make some steps and later on to kind of reverse engineer. Based on your experience, feedback information, feedback from your teamwork or whatever team or company, and then you get better. That's how life it is. There's no uh, born millionaires unless you, your father or grandfather is, is one of them. Or you are lucky like Donald Trump that yes. you have a... You know, the, the, the I just started with one million dollars in 1969. <laughs> That's Donald Trump, yeah. There, there are some wonderful examples, for instance, this... This is George Soros and his brother. I, I, you know, George Soros is one of the biggest, like, uh, like the richest men in the, in the in the whole world now. Ask the Greek people. Like <laughs> this, the Soros, his brother. I know his brother. He came to the New York City, like in the, in early 20th century. He came to the New York City with only 16 dollar. I his, came with 240 dollars <laughs> in, in his pocket. Imagine. So, so he came through like difficult times, but he made a huge fortune in in uh, in his lifetime. That is a good talk, I think. Yeah, very positive. It's not like oh fuck this shit and that's bullshit and yeah. Ivan, but yeah, it's a pleasure. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. It's always good talking to you. That's good. You are inspiring, as always, and I know you will inspire many more people. I asked the kids, what would happen if somebody dropped sugar in my coffee? They said, well, you'd be okay. I said, what if somebody dropped strychnine in my coffee? They said, well, you'd be dead. I said, correct. Lesson one, life is both sugar and strychnine. You gotta be careful. I said, what if my worst enemy drops in the sugar? They said, will you be okay? I said, what if my best friend, even by accident, drops in the strychnine? They said, well, you'd be dead. I said, correct. Lesson two, watch your coffee. Here we are, our favorite spot to make money with our pedicaps, but that's the terrace. There's a magical water here. Oh, that's a little bit dirt, but uh, you gotta get your hands dirty sometime to make a point. I hope I did get your attention on the previous videos but on this one i will say why seminars usually don't work because only five percent of the people attending seminars actually do something about it after the seminar however training do work you can just train yourself if you are good you can learn any skill you can do anything you like don't limit yourself dream big 
do not let naysayers and people who will tell you this not work, this is this, this like blah 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 in your life after all becomes like a shithole and you don't want to be there so seminars don't work